The third is sincerity to Allah because one has no place of return in putting off or defending against the calamities except to Him. So it makes you sincere because the mukhlis is the one that calls on God without any shirk. So if you realize you have no other place, لا مَلْجَأَ مِنْهُ إِلَّا إِلَيْهِ They realize that they had no place of refuge from Him except to Him. That that state is a great gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it puts you in a state of ikhlas. And one of the ulama said that a moment of ikhlas in this world is enough to save a person. Just to be in that state of ikhlas with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is a great gift. And there's no source to depend upon in removal of that calamity except upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, وَإِن يَمْسِسْكَ اللَّهُ بِضُرٍّ فَلَا كَاشِفَ لَهُ إِلَّا هُ If Allah afflicts you with some harm, there's no remover of that harm except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except Him. وَإِذَا رَكِبُوا فِي الْفُلْكِ دَعُوا اللَّهَ مُخْرِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ When they get on a boat and then there's turbulence and waves, suddenly they're calling Allah sincerely. These are people that are not, they're in a bad state, but Allah is saying in that state they're مُخْلِصُونَ because when the calamities come, so that is a benefit of calamities, is that they make you, and how many times, wallahi, you ask yourselves, every one of you right now, you ask yourself, how many times has a calamity afflicted you and it led to that state? Where, where you really felt, you're the only one that can help me in this. That's how I became Muslim, wallahi. I mean, I remember very clearly when I was 17 years old, I had an incredible tribulation. And I remember the night. I remember the night. I was in a car. I'll never forget that night where I know that I called on Allah with absolute sincerity. I, I remember it very clearly. And that prayer got answered. And that's the beauty because that's the Ismail Alam. If you call on Allah, that is the Ismail Alam. The greatest name is the name that has no partnership with it. You just have to relax. We're in the ocean of dunya and we need to just float. Just keep afloat. Don't drown. They're all drowning out there. Because it's, you know, the person who drowns, they come up and they're, they're in a state of pain. If they would just relax, they wouldn't drown. But the panic is causing them to drown. And that's what's happening with all these people out there. It's the panic. Inna linsana khuliqa halu'a. Human beings are created in a state of anxiety. إِذَا مَسْهُ شَرُّ جَزُوعًا When any harm afflicts them, they panic. وَإِذَا مَسْهُ الْخَيْرُ مَنُوعًا And when good comes to them, they withhold. They don't want to share it with anybody. إِلَّا الْمُصَلِّينَ Except the people of prayer. They're in a different state. And that's the people we want to be from, from the mustathnayun, the people that are exempted from that other state. Because that trust in Allah is what saves you. Muhammad Sayyidul Kawlain wa Thaqalain wal Fariqain min Urbi wa Min Ajami Muhammad Sayyidul Kawlain wa Thaqalain wal Fariqain